Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. We are from Americano, which is from Lecture Group 2. They are presented today about our topic, which is impact of information technology on auditing. An information technology audit is a review and assessment of a company information system, regulation and activities. Auditor must gather all the critical information more efficiently as a business increasingly use EDP, which is mean electronic data processing, to process the accounting system. Then audit client as they majority are used paperless system and audit application that have audited to execute most process online. As mean the actual effect of technology on auditing, it gives an overview of how information technology has improved audit planning, testing, and documentation. Hi, my name is Izzy Hazia with matrix number 69911, and today I will present about the risk assessment. Emerging technologies can provide significant advantages, but they also pose a variety of significant risks. One of the risks is reliance on systems or programs that handle erroneous data or both. For example, accounting data is now tidy and unreadable with the attendant risk of ease of committing fraud and manipulation, not to mention the difficulty of detecting and next to it can be accompanied by data errors or a defect in the entry process, the main memory or be operated incorrectly in the absence of effective oversight procedures with it. Next, cyber security threats that apply to the audit, the hazards and continue to the potential of data theft uh, or entering into program to earn personal benefits or use this information against the unit represented. Information technology will also probably fail to implement required or acceptable system or program modifications. Included, included in the Risk audit is the disappearance of the original documents after the first input and disposal, as well as the inability to note the process and operations because they are within the computer, which will limit the availability of a good support to scratch tiny as follows. These dangerous mistakes in the transfer process, the system's vocabulary. Fourthly, the risk of data loss or inability to access data as needed. It is associated with computer viruses. And lastly, risk associated with the use of third-party service providers, the low cost of building a website and the ease with which page of websites can be thrown make it relatively easy to establish legal sites posing as actual sites in order to trick users into giving their personal information or payment cards, assuming that where sites are sites for respected organizations. Hello, and I will be presenting the audit types of audit evidence. Uh, when planning the audit, audit work, the auditor should take into account the type of the audit evidence to be gathered. It is used as audit evidence to meet audit objective and its varying levels of reliability. The types of audit evidence which the auditor should consider are observing tangible items, inspection of accounting information software, and documentary with expert. So first and foremost, observing tangible items. The auditors can physically inspect for the presence of computer, terminals, printers, Wi-Fi, etc. The computer center should be visited for the visual verification of the presence of water and smoke detectors, fire extinguishers, etc. This is because physical access controls are designed to protect the organization from unauthorized access. Next is the inspection of accounting information software. An accounting information system is where the entity's records are created and stored that consists of ledgers and journals. Since the financial statements are prepared from this data, it is required for the auditors to understand the financial reporting process which includes how the transactions are entered initially from the system itself. The records are then tested for accuracy by performing analysis, reperformance, and reconciliations. If the, the internal control over this process are 
adequate the dependability or the reliability of the ledgers and journal as audit evidence is high. Lastly, auditor can use interviews to obtain both quality, qualitative and quantitative information during evidence collection work. System analysts and programmers can be interviewed to obtain a better understanding of the functions and controls within the system. And not only that, data entry staff can be interviewed to be determined how the correct input data that the application system identifies as inaccurate or incomplete. Thus, in short, Auditors should evaluate various types of audit methods and evidence as an influence of information technology in the audit process in order to collect competent, relevant, and reasonable evidence that will allow auditors to conclude their opinions on the financial statements. That's all for me. Thank you. My name is Alistair Seman Anangai with the number 6906. I will present the internal control plan. According to the Canton, uh, internal control are processes and rules implemented by the company uh, in purpose to ensure the financial statement and the accounting information is provided with uh, integrity. So the internal control can be defined as a business practice in the auditing terms, which means to ensure to assure the objective of the company in the path uh, of effective and efficient management and legitimate uh, financial reporting that is compliance with the law. So, what is the implications of the information technology to, con to the internal control? Uh, the first one is that information technology enables the auditor to run uh, an analysis on the large amount of the company financial data. So, the task will uh, not need a lot of worker or tools to manage the company data. Uh, next is the auditor are enables to perform advanced analytics to have a deeper insight into the company management uh, through more advanced uh, information technology. It will allow the auditor to have a better track and analyze uh, regarding the client performance and the risk, uh, which will ease the client to have an improvement in the future uh, through the audit process. Last but not least, the auditor can spend more time on the scrutinizing a complex and high risk uh, matter. Uh, that require more true uh, judgment. So auditor will be able to provide a greater level of assurance uh, due to the functional information uh, technology that has reduced a lot of auditor burdens and problems. In short, the internal control can enjoy several benefits when they uh, take a proactive uh, approach to the technology adoptions, uh, such as lower cause a greater organizational value and more integrated risk framework. So company must invest in their employees and their skills so they can adopt a new information technology in their internal control in order to transform the efficiency of the company management. Hello, my name is Isan Espinor Azab and my metric number is 69918. Today I will talk about advantage and disadvantage information technology toward auditing. The first advantage is it can examine the vulnerability to threat. Most of the accounting nowadays is done through online or cloud account for the bookkeeping. All information from financial transaction details to sensitive data of employees and customers is susceptible through the IT system. The threat is always inherent, but an IT audit ensures that the activity is carried out at the lowest possible risk. And the second point is it also can do a system investigation. And IT in auditing will inform business if they are investing in the right system or not. This will verify the system that the, that the system is operating properly and fulfilling all of the objective and goals that they were set for it. If there is a problem with the system, the IT auditor will recommend some adjustment that may be made to make the system more efficient. Uh, then uh, the third point is it also can establish IT governance. IT governance consists of leadership, the entity's framework, and procedures that entity IT support and maintain the organization plan of action and objective. Then for the disadvantage, the first point is an auditor must accept the change over the system. If a company formally relies on the paper before to perform the audit, 
it must switch to an electronic system before it can benefit from using information technology in their auditing. This might take a week or a month, depending on how company based of their company before it changed over. Furthermore, some staff may require a training in order to assess or operate the new system. The second point is they also need to consider their sec the security when implementing IT in auditing. When an auditor uses a computer or other technology device to perform an audit, he or she must be must consider security consideration that the paper based does not have to consider it before. Audit frequently refer to sensitive information such as a company by company's finance or tax obligation. An auditor must be able to secure the transmit this information so that the employee who need to know the information can access to read the audit reports online or by their email. The third point is they also meet a different filing requirement. The Internal Revenue Service and other government agencies may have a different regulation for retaining electronic record before agreeing the, to implement IT in auditing. The business owner, the business owner, should learn how to preserve audit report and how long they must keep them. Last but not least from our goal, which is conclusion, the use of IT in the auditing process has forced auditor to assess what type of evidence should be considered. And also, auditor should assess various types of audit methodologies and evidence when considering the impact of IT on the audit process. This shown an auditor uh, should take a proactive approach to technology adoption so they can realize a numerous advantages. For the last, whenever considering any critical decision, auditor must consider all risks and implications. Thank you.